Hey guys, um, so Monday night on Raw, there were a few interesting matches like um, Randy Orton vs B. Langston. Interesting to see the WWE Universe voting for Big Langston to be in that match. And overwhelmingly because um, I can understand The Miz, no one really cares about The Miz, but someone like, someone like Dolph Ziggler who does a lot of fans to get beaten by that much shows that the WWE's push of Biggie Langston is like going over to the fans and people want to see that guy wrestle. And um, so he gets the opportunity to fight the WWE Champion, Randy Orton does get the win. But another step up in Biggie Langston's career that match. And the voting obviously shows that fans are getting behind him. Um, we had Fandango, Fandango and Summer Rae um, versus Natalia and Tyson Kidd who returned in this match. Um, great to see him back. He looked as good as ever. He looked better to be honest. I really thought that he did well in the bit that we saw of him. So yeah, um, they unsurprisingly got the win as you'd expect with someone returning like that. Um, then you had the, the six-man tag team match with John Cena, Cody Rose and Goldust, the Sandal Swagger and Antonio Cesaro and this was a really good match. The finish was excellent. Bodies were going everywhere. These six-man tag team matches are, to, are they're really enjoyable to watch. Um, repeat on SmackDown, but I still enjoyed it very much. Repeat from SmackDown, I should say. Um, but I really did enjoy it. But basically, like those are probably the noteworthy matches. Then there were a lot of fuller matches that didn't really matter. Basically, this whole show came down to one thing. We didn't even see Daniel Bryan. Um, John Cena didn't have any major part of with the World Heavyweight Champion. The only thing it was really down to was this whole um, law, what's the word, law case, whatever, big show against Triple H, fighting for the, like, suing WWE, all that. <clears throat> and they showed things why, tri why Triple H is saying that he won't win the case, so things on big show is suing and all building up to the like end of the show where the board of directors basically say you need to settle this without any lawyers or anything involved so that basically puts the ball in the big show's court it gives him a lot of control he goes out there he says he doesn't want money what he wants is his job back so he gets his job back um triple h then says that's all you're getting he then wants more he says he wants a, a, a raise in his salary triple h says okay to that then he says he wants to be the face of the company and he wants a WWE title shot. And that's where Triple H drew the line. He said, no ways. So Big Show said, okay, cheers. I don't accept. My, my attorney will contact the board of directors and I'll own all of you, he basically said. That forced Triple H's hand and he then said, fine, you've got your match. So Big Show ended up working on a good job, increased payroll, WWE title match. And then the, big, the Triple H said, well, now that you work for me, time to get you in a match. And it really wasn't a match. It was just the beat down the shield. And Randy Orton just really beat up um, Big Show. The Big Show was fighting back, fighting back, kept fighting back. I would jump on him. He'd get them off one-on-one, -on -one, him and Randy Orton. Then Kane's music hit. And I'm thinking, here we go. Kane comes out. I knew he was coming because we hadn't seen him since he gave his mask to um, um, Stephanie McMahon. So... You, I thought, yeah, they are wanting us to forget about him, so it would be a shock when he comes out. It wasn't a shock when his music played, it was a shock when I saw him. Because I thought he was going to come out and just destroy the big show. That's basically what I was picturing. He was going to just be like the destroyer in the WWE coming back. But he came back without his mask, in a suit and tie. And to be honest, he just looks like a loser when he wears that. I mean, I'm so used to seeing him in this like intimidating outfit now he's wearing a suit and tie i was flabbergasted when i saw it to tell you the truth um did not expect anything like it i didn't understand it i mean what they're gonna have him do just walk around with stephanie and triple h now really makes no sense to me he didn't get involved he was just a distraction so that the randy wooden shoe could just beat the big show to a pulp as the show ended but really what they're doing with Kane, I'm not liking that. If it's going the way I think it's going, he's just going to be there. I mean, what's the point? So yeah, that's basically my opinion on 
basically what this whole show was about. I mean, yes, there were other matches, lots of them, but this was based, that was basically the only thing the show was really relevant about, um, besides those few exciting matches that I talked about. So yeah, guys, that's my raw review. I'll catch you later. Cheers.